So here's the solution to my practice quiz on factoring polynomials. And this file is from my Patreon. If you're interested, you guys can go ahead and check that out. The link is in the description. For this practice quiz, we have five questions. And if you're doing this, make sure you time yourself 20 minutes. Here we go. We are going to factor everything as much as possible. First, we have x cubed plus 5x squared minus 6x. Notice, everybody has an x, so we can factor that out first. So taking on x, and then we will have all the powers will go down by 1. So that's x squared plus 5x to the first, and then minus just 6. Here, this is just a quadratic trinomial. We can do the following. Keep the x in the front. We just have x squared, so we need to have x and x. Now think about two numbers, they multiply to negative 6, and together they add up to positive 5. And the correct combination is plus 6 and minus 1. The order of this doesn't matter, because it's just x and x. No, well done. For the second one, we have 8x cubed plus 27. Notice that we have two terms. So most likely it's going to be a formula question, right? Here we have a sum of, okay, we have x cubed, sum of two cubes. So the first thing is that we have to put this into the sum of two cubes form, like this. First, we will have to ask ourselves, what to the third power will give us 8? And the answer for that is 2. And then x to the third power, we of course need the x. For the 27, we need 3. 3 to the third power gives us 27. From here, we will have to remember the formula for factoring a sum of two cubes, and I'm going to write that down right here for you guys. a cubed plus b cubed. This is factorable and is equal to a plus b times a squared minus a b, and then plus b squared, just like that. Now, with this formula, we can just go ahead and use it. First, we will have a plus b, so that's 2x plus 3. Then, we will have to do a squared, because this is the a, square that. 2 squared, we get 4, and then we also have the x squared. And then next, we have minus a times b, so that's 2x times 3, which will get 6x. And lastly, we have b squared. So 3 squared, we get 9. And this is it. Do not continue anymore, because this right here is not factorable. And that's why the formula stops right here. And once again, this right here is because we have the 2x squared. And this is because we did the 2x times 3. And lastly, this is because we have the 3 squared. Now for number 3, we have x to the 6 power minus 1. This is a slightly harder one, because do not look at this as a difference of 2 6 powers. The reason is because we only have the formulas for the difference of 2 squares, or the difference of 2 cubes. But which one do we do though? Well, let me set this up first. For the 1, you can always put a 1 to whatever power, it's still 1. But for the 6 power, if you put this to the third power, then you will put x squared inside. If you put the parentheses to the second power, then you put x cubed inside. Which one do we do? I will tell you. If you start off by looking at this as a difference of two squares, it will be easier. Here, x cubed squared gives us a six power because we multiply the powers to get six. And the one squared is of course one. Now, I'm just going to write down the result of the difference of two squares, we will get x cubed minus 1 times x cubed plus 1. a minus b times a plus b. Now notice, what's this? x cubed minus 1 cubed. So this is the same as the difference of two cubes. This is the different, this is the sum of. And for this one, it's the sum of two cubes. So the first one is totally factorable. I'm going to do this right here. We get x minus 1 times x squared plus x times 1, which is just x, and then plus 1 squared, which is 1. And then for this, we get x plus 1 
times x squared minus x times 1, which is x, and then plus 1 squared, which is 1, just like that. And that's the answer. Now for number 4, we have 4 terms. So we do it by grouping. Take a look at the first two terms and the last two terms. From the first two terms, we can factor out x squared. And the power will go down by 2, and the power will go down by 2. So we get x to the first plus 1. Now, when we do factor by grouping, whatever this sign is, go ahead and write it down right away. And then for the x plus 1, cannot factor out anything, right? But technically, we can factor out 1. So put down plus 1, and then put parentheses, and we still get x plus 1. Now notice, x plus 1 is in common, so we can just factor it out. And then we have x squared plus 1. Do we continue? No, we don't have to, unless you are going to do a complex number factoring, but we are not. Because x squared plus 1 is not factorable with real numbers. So we really just stop right here. Just like that. Now for the last one, we have 8x squared plus 2x minus 3. So this is a quadratic trinomial, and we don't have any common factor. So we'll just proceed. And we are going to use the tic-tac-toe so that we can make sure we get the correct combination. 8x squared, what times will give us that? 4x times 2x, yes, or maybe 8x and x. Which one? I don't know yet. I'm just going to try 4x and 2x. Now, going to negative 3. What times will give us negative 3? 1 times negative 3, or negative 1 times positive 3. Which one do I use? And also, here, the order matters. So I'm just kind of, I just kind of have to try it a little bit. I can put 1 here and 3 here, and maybe let's make this negative. Does this work? Well, this is how we check. You take this times that, 4x times negative 3 is negative 12x. And you take this times that, that's 2x. Combine the middle terms, this and that, do we get positive 2? We don't. So unfortunately, this is not the correct combination. So let's try it again. So why don't we try 1 here and 3 here? And because I want to end up with a positive 2x in the middle, 3 times 2x is 6x. 4x times 1 is 4x. I want to make this negative so that we get a negative 4x here. And that will give us positive 6x. When we combine them, we do end up with 2x. So we know, yeah, this right here is going to be correct. And we can write down the answer, which is you go across 4x plus 3 times 2x minus 1. And then we are done. By the way, did you notice this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 